As many of you know, I'm quite new to lasers. I've got next to no idea what I'm doing, and yet this thing makes me feel like Tony Stark. This is only my third laser engraver. I'm not an expert, just some guy with a pile of machines and an unhealthy obsession with burning logos into everything I own. But this one, this one's different. This is something special. In the first few days I used it, I had more finished projects than with every other laser I've used combined. Metal, wood, slate, resin, 3D printed plastic, and X-Tool put the full stop in It Just Works. It's not in that it technically functions kind of way that I've seen from so many other brands. It works beautifully. This has by far exceeded my expectations. And that's after I've used other reviews and so many commenters were saying, get an X-Tool, get an X-Tool and praising it to high heaven. I genuinely still can't believe how good this is. To everyone who recommended this to me, not only were you right, I think you kind of played it down as well. So if you're watching and you're like me and you think spec sheets are just a polite way for brands to have an overtly public dick measuring contest and you'd rather know what it's actually like to use a thing rather than what they say, then yeah, you're going to want to see this one. Hi, I'm Ross and this is Farhammer Videos. So as I said, this is my third laser engraver ever and if it were my last, honestly, I'd be happy. It's so rare that I actually get to review a product I genuinely enjoy using this much. The X-Tool F1 Ultra isn't perfect. There are quirks, some flaws, and a few things that will absolutely annoy certain people. But here's the thing, once you start using it and understand how it works and how tidy it is, those few issues do hit differently. Because when a machine nails the day-to-day -day experience like this one does, the usual complaints just don't carry the same weight. And if you're new to my channel and you think I'm just saying this because I got a free expensive thing, with all due respect, ask around. I'm not that guy. So let's get into it. This thing has two lasers built in. First, a 20 watt diode laser, which is great for wood, acrylic, leather, slate, and most general engraving or cutting. Then there's a 20 watt infrared fiber laser used for metals like stainless steel, aluminium, brass, and even titanium. This is what gives you those crisp permanent marks that you'd usually only get on industrial kit, or you would spend hours cutting into using just a diode laser. The working area on this is 220 by 220 millimeters, which is pretty decent for a Galvo laser. And if you grab the conveyor add-on, it extends to 500 millimeters wide, or you can just repeat engravings over and over endlessly. It's super fast and it's got automatic height detection and focus with a preview camera. I'll go into more on that shortly. The spot size of the laser goes as small as 30 microns or 0.03 millimeters. And it's even got built-in fire detection. Now, all of that may sound impressive to some. Before I got this, I didn't understand much of the differences with the power specs, but what I think actually matters is how it works when you use it. And that is where things become so interesting and kind of shit on most other products I've used. Now, the unboxing is glorious. Like seriously, X-Tool have nailed that premium Apple style reveal vibe and setup is so easy. Clear manuals, well translated, every port is labeled, just if you're gonna buy one, I would recommend watching the unboxing video from X-Tool rather than make some silly mistakes like I made. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who got one of these and wasn't sure how to get some of the stickers off. But yeah, this thing has lots of ports. On the back from left to right, we've got the port for the touchscreen, three ports for add-ons, which would be the quick switch, smoke purifier, and fire safety kit. There's a USB-A port for the security key. You can't actually use the machine if this isn't inserted. Then you've got the power socket and another port for the fire safety add-on. And this one deploys CO2 gas to help extinguish flames. Also on the back is a large outlet for smoke and soot, but I'll come back to that later. On the right hand side, we've got more ports. We've got the power switch at the bottom, then a USB-A port for loading files, two extension ports for add-on devices, and a USB Type-C port for a computer connection. And again, like other lasers I've reviewed, since USB-C has a limited length, you might need a third party active USB cable if your computer is a good distance away. And this unit also has a fully working e-stop button above all the ports. Just slam this and it shuts the machine down completely. Laser power the lot. 
One slight interesting thing I've noticed though is all the ports for connecting other X-Tool devices are somewhat proprietary in shape, almost a blend of USB-C and mini USB. Maybe Firewire, but it's been a while since I've seen one of those. And whilst this does have built-in Wi-Fi, I would personally prefer to see an Ethernet option too, especially on something that's more of an industrial device. Looks wise, it's nice, it's on form. I think it's gorgeous. It's got a really nice slide up shield, which I'll talk more about when we get to safety in a bit. But moving into what all this actually means. Well, because this is a Galvo Mopa style laser, it means one thing. It's mainly intended for engraving more than cutting. The further you perform cutting operations from the center, the more likely you'll get angled cuts on the edges of parts. I'm not really critiquing it for that. This is just an effect of this type of technology because the laser is projected out outwards from a fixed point. Now you also get a preview camera, but this is positioned behind the laser lens, which, well, having one is clever. But since it's right at the back, the further you are from its center, the less accurate it gets when predicting where engravings are gonna happen. And when using batch operations, the software actually advises you to keep the parts near the back for the best accuracy. So whilst I love the addition of this, I find I mostly end up framing everything with the blue laser guide before I actually commit to anything. But as a 3D printer owner, there's an absolute crap ton of printable jigs out there for help with alignment. But as I said, I mostly end up framing manually with the blue laser guide because while the camera works, it's just not perfect enough. And I do wish there was a way to run some more advanced calibration across the whole work area, but we've also got to consider that this will change depending on different heights of materials. The point is this is good to have, just don't ever expect it to be spot on. And this seems to be par for the course for lasers. I think they could make these better. Maybe LiDAR scanning? Anyway, that's not here. I've never actually seen it implemented. I'd just like this to be as automatic as the marketing suggests it would be. Anyway, there's a few add-ons for this device, like a start and stop foot pedal, which I don't have, but there's also a rotary tool and a conveyor belt, which come as part of the deluxe bundle that X-Tool sent me. And they work, as you would expect, in incredibly well, but I'll cover them more in separate videos because the deal I made with X-Tool is I get all this kit, but I have to make three videos. So I'll be cheekily phoning them in at a rate of about once a month, but they've already agreed that in September, they'll loan me an F2 so I can cover that as well. Now, when it comes to using it, if you're connecting via PC, as I did, you'll first need to plug it in with USB just to set up the Wi-Fi. But if you're using the mobile app, it connects via the F1's built-in hotspot, and then that walks you through everything. Now, here's where Xtool surprised me. On mobile, it actually forces you to watch a full laser safety instruction video before use, which is really clever. On desktop though, it doesn't do that, but it does give you a very important safety guide to follow and explains very clearly that this is a dangerous class 4 laser device. I do find that to be a bit of a weird disparity. If you use it on the phone, it's a bit more consumery, but if you use it on the PC, it treats it a bit more industrially. But regardless, this video is solid, and the point is you absolutely should take laser safety seriously. I didn't know any of this before I posted my first laser video, and I've already made social posts about just how terrified I am of what could have gone wrong. These things can mess up your lungs, your eyes, along with your family and your pets. I'll be making a whole separate video about that. You don't need to be afraid of these, but you do need to understand what safety precautions you need to take. Now, by default, the F1 Ultra will not fire, will not operate, will not engrave when the lid's open. Now you can disable that because at times you may need to, for example, when using the conveyor or when using material that's wider than the lid is. Now, Xtool also sell protective glasses at what I would say is a very reasonable price, and they were kind enough to send me some. And it's nice to see they've got several important markings on the lenses, which tells us, well, they're OD4 rated for the diode laser and OD6 rated for the infrared. And the CE marking indicates that this isn't just what they say, this is also compliant with European conformity standards too. Now, they do say these work for glasses wearers, but when I tried them over my current specs, they only just fit with a squeeze and all also left a bit of a gap around the edges. Removing my normal glasses removed this gap quite away, but stopped me being able to properly see. So I still prefer full vision protection that cover glasses, but I'll talk about what I actually use in a future safety video. All in all, it's nice that these are available and at a decent price. 
But this also does have a level of fire protection built in because when I was overly cooking some rubber at one point trying to make a stamp, it was steadily catching fire as the laser engraved around the edge. When it detected this and it was going on for more than a second or two, the machine shut off the laser entirely and started bleeping at me to say, fire, fire, fire. So yeah. But again, we should know, because we've read our safety guides, don't ever leave lasers unattended. You don't have to stare at it the whole time. In fact, that's a bad thing to do. Just make sure you stay within actionable distance at all times. Now next, there's fume control, and this also matters hugely, especially because you're gonna be using this indoors. Now you do get a flexi hose as standard, and that should vent outside, and the F1 Ultra has got a built-in fan that you can remove for cleaning. But I was also sent the Xtool Safety Pro AP2, which is a massive five-stage filter box with Bluetooth control, and this thing is a beast. And the best part in terms of usability, it automatically starts up when a job starts and then shuts down when it's finished. It's smart, it's seamless, it is stupidly satisfying. Now moving on from that, as mentioned with the functions, you also get this little externals touchscreen. Now it does let you manually adjust the height of the unit, which seems a little redundant since focusing is mostly automatic, and you can start and stop jobs with this or view remaining time, which for the record is frequently inaccurate in some daft ways. At one point it told me a 200 plus layer depth engrave would take only 48 seconds. It took nearer three hours. But yeah, you can also use this to launch jobs if you're using a USB stick. But I think, let's be real, if you're buying a machine this smart, why are you using a USB stick like it's 2004? All right, that's a bit snippy, but serious question. Why would you use this with a USB stick? Anyway, this screen, I do think it's nice to have. I don't think it's bad, but I also think it's incredibly underutilized compared to what I've seen on UIs from 3D printers. There's a lot more useful information that can be put on here and its functionality can probably be extended too. Now, software wise, this is where this machine really shines. Now it works with Lightburn, but honestly, I haven't bothered. I'm still a bit terrified of learning Lightburn. It looks incredibly complex, but XCS or Xtool Creative Space, which they provide you, is so user friendly. It is genuinely perfect for anyone who's never used a laser before. Now, unlike the mobile app, as I said, the desktop version doesn't enforce a safety video, but it does immediately warn you this is a class four laser product as if the dozens of warning stickers already seen during unboxing didn't scream that enough. Now, as I've said, you should still read the safety PDF, like actually read it because this isn't some software ULA, this is your eyes and lungs. But aside all that, using this thing is so simple. Seriously, a child could use it. Again, aside all the safety concerns, don't, don't let your child use it, ever. But yeah, when you start it up, the software runs you through everything. Calibration is as simple as engraving two crosses on paper, and it does that for you, tells you what to do, and then it auto adjusts for camera alignment. Then you align the red laser with the blue one, you're good to go. But that should also be pretty much done for you already. From that point on, it can automatically detect any material height, unless it's reflective, in which case just pop a sheet of paper on top, but then, just engrave stuff, literally. This is where this laser really shines. Do you get it? All right, sorry. Look, here's the thing, right? Most materials you put through this have presets built into the application. Not just built in, but they are complete with icons and visual examples of the results when using various settings. And you just open one up, click one, and that is roughly the result you should get. You literally just pick the look you want. No spreadsheets, no guesswork, no 400 comment Reddit threads telling you to run three passes at 1500 millimeters a second on 30% power, crossing your fingers and hoping you get the right result and then dial it in three more times after that, you just pick a material and say, I want it to score, engrave or cut, and it should look like what the preview presents. And whilst the original recommended list may look limited, you can even import new materials from a growing library that Xtool provides. Or you can do your own test grids like I did, and I did it to see colors on stainless steel. And like some other OEM apps I've seen, this also has its own storefront. In this case, it's Atom with two Ms. But unlike the others I've seen that are probably there because Xtool has one, well, 
This is a good one, a really good one. It's large, it's curated, it's varied. Some designs do charge you, however, and I'm not really a fan of the way they've gone about this. Don't get me wrong, I've got no issues with people earning from their designs, they deserve to. But the way Xtool do it by you having to buy credits, I just, I thought that was something I'd seen the end of with PlayStation and Xbox coins. But overall, XCS is ridiculously intuitive. This took me from laser newbie to functioning pyro artist in a matter of hours. Not days, hours. This is the workflow you dream about. And as a reviewer, this is genuinely the kind of product you hope you get to review one day. Fast, reliable, smart, safe-ish beautiful and intuitive. And to every other laser engraver I touch after this, yeah, I think this is now the bar, the benchmark, the line in the sand. This isn't just the best laser I've ever used, it's probably one of the best products I've ever used, full stop. And from what I've seen in other reviews and guides out there, it's also still improving because my software is different to what I've seen in other videos because it's been changed, upgraded. This software clearly gets regular updates. So honestly, even if it's not this exact model, if you're new to lasers, if this is how they put products out, I'm happy to recommend not just the F1 Ultra, but anything by Xtool. And I'd say that for the same reason I'd recommend certain brands for FDM or resin printing. They make it so easy to succeed. They massively reduce the learning barrier and the amount of trial and error needed between you wanting to make thing and you having thing. Now, if you want something to tinker with or you're happy to spend time learning, Sure, go chase the cheaper options. This isn't a cheap product at all. But if you're like me and you would rather skip all that just to get on with making cool stuff without fighting the machine or software every step of the way, then yeah, I get what so many people in my comments have been saying, and I totally agree. Get an X-Tool. Just don't skip the safety learning bit on any laser ever. Now, if you do decide to pick one up, I will leave an affiliate link in the description. If you use that, I'll make a commission at no cost to you. It's how I afford to run the channel, but it's also your decision. Again, not trying to sell this to you, just telling you what my experience with it was like. Decision's totally yours. If you don't believe me, okay. But the truth is, I absolutely love this. Anyway, I want to say thanks for watching and thanks to all my channel members who are on screen now. They get Discord roles, early access, names in the credits, and my undying gratitude. So as always, thanks to everyone for watching. Until next time, it's game over, man. It's game over. Farhammer out.